Hello and welcome to Joburg Today. My name is Dumi Shapo, bringing you the best of what's happening in and around Johannesburg. Transport Month kicks off today and for the official launch, Nashina went on a road trip with Gauteng's MEC for Transport, Ishmael Vadi. Gauteng MEC for Transport, Ismail Vadi, officially launching Transport Month. It's been going on now for 15 years. But 2015 marks a milestone. This year, the city hosts the second Eco-Mobility World Festival. That means there is a big focus on public transportation. Earlier in the day, I traveled with Ismail Vadi to Santon using three different modes of transportation. We started off by hopping onto a rear via bus to get to Park Station. I think that uh, there's a big difference between taxi operations and, and uh, public transport operations. Public transport operations work on the scheduled services, so there will be fixed times yeah. that the buses run, trains run. Okay, now there might be technical problems, sometimes at Plaza we have a lot of problems where there's cable theft or there's a breakdown, etc. But that's because it's a very old system. And in the, in the transport month we will be launching the new nerve center, the control center for Plaza, which is a completely modernized uh, signaling system, so hopefully the scheduling will come right. And once the new trains come on board, uh, that, that system will run quite well. But if you take Khao train, it has a punctuality rate of 98%. That's excellent. It Very will compete with any system in the world. In fact, it, uh, two, uh, not last, the previous year it won the global award for one of the best run rail systems in the world. It competed against Canadian, British, all sorts of rail services, and it won the global award. So. Punctuality is a critical part of public transport system. And I think our train is setting the best practice. And okay, we're very good today. On well, time. we're actually on time. on time. It was good and it wasn't quite... And it was, when we it get actually it wasn't, station, wasn't a long wait because we got here at around uh, 8, 8 o'clock. Yeah, and scheduled to leave at 20 past 8, exactly 20 past 8. So it's good. It's very good. Our destination, Park Station, to get onto the Khao train. We don't allow any eating or chewing on the Khao train. That's it. That's it. Now, the yeah. moment you make that provision here, be assured people are going to walk in with a cup of coffee into the train, yeah, yeah. and then the train jerks, and the thing spills. People are carrying their laptops with them on, so on the train. So, we've, well, taken a, we've taken a stringent policy of no food on the trains, and therefore, you're not going to get in the complex, in the train pissing, the station pissing any food stalls. That makes sense, it does make sense. And we've had that unpleasant incident, some, uh, I think last year, the previous year, where some people were chewing, mm -hmm. and the security asked them to, to, to spit it out, and there was a little bit of an altercation, and of course the, the, the commuter made all sorts of allegations against the security officer. Fortunately, we had a video, video footage of the thing, camera footage, and when we saw what transpired, the commuter was wrong and we slept over the fine of 800 rents. But that's to send a message that you respect the rules. This is a public transport system. Everybody must enjoy it. And if the rule says no eating on the train, then no eating on the train. And that's, that was chewing gum? Yes. No chewing gum. No chewing gum on the train. <laughs> Welcome to Khao Train, Africa's Pride and Joy. Yes. We've won many awards for this. Yes, I think Khao Train has won several international awards. Uh, all sorts of things. They've won awards for their own communication strategy. Uh, some very prestigious awards. And then two years ago we won the best train operating services. Um, very, very punctual service, very reliable service. Um, very good growing ridership. When you get in, you can see it's world class. So it's, a, it's a growing ridership. Uh, we're still not where we should be with our ridership. Uh, at the in moment, it's, it, no. It, at the moment, it's 1.4 million passengers a month. But uh, we should we should actually be doubling that in the next few years. So the prediction is that we'll get to that point in seven years. But I've been telling the management agency that we really need to bring it down to a quicker time so that we can have a full ridership. And again, uh, I think we're experiencing a similar kind of thing. Peak hour is exceptionally busy, a very, very full, high demand. Uh, we're in the process of uh, purchasing 40 new coaches because we can't cope with the pressure at peak hours. But then in the off-peak hour, 
I mean, the, 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 the ridership is not very strong. So it doesn't really support the feasibility of investing right but now in new coaches you see the because off of the numbers? Yes, the off-peak the off, the off period is important because it generates revenue. And uh, if you can build that, I think you have a stronger revenue base. So that's really what, it, what we've done. I mean, last year we've staggered the prices now. So you have uh, the, the, the fair structure for high peak periods is higher than the, than the not so high peak period. And then for the off peak, it's actually much cheaper to use the train as an incentive to get people to, to use the service. The Gau train station in Santon has a new node that's been developed to facilitate buses, taxis and even tuk-tuks. When tuk-tuks came onto the scene, uh, a number of business, enterprising business people just got this, the, the equipment and started using it. And we had to meet with them quite early to say, look, you're going to have to register with us because you're offering a form of public transport services. Uh, if we go out here and an accident occurs and your passenger dies, what happens? So that is the important role of So it's critical. I mean, that investor had, a, had his own shuttle service. So the number of clients that they get coming in and out all the time, going to the station, to the airport, so they provide their own certain traffic. I wouldn't mind getting one of these for myself. <laughs> then you can run around. Just to move around the city. Okay. It's amazing. I've lived here for so many years. I had no idea we had so many tuk-tuks to move yeah. around, to move so, around, especially in the Santon area that's so congested. It's, 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 and you want to spend the day in Santon, go shopping, whatever, move yeah. from place A to place B, just pop into the convention center. It's yeah. 25 Rand which uh, is uh, kind of the lowest if you have to compare yeah. fees with taxi services even if you compare it with uber it's still yeah. quite low and then the question for any consumer is what is low anyway no, well i think I, I mean you've got to also look at their, their you know their yeah. work the labor and the effort yeah. that's involved the running costs and it has to be profitable otherwise it, it, it won't survive which program nishina mohammed for Joburg today How's it? This is Dominic Oliver, and you're watching Joburg Today. Like us on Facebook, joburgtoday.tv, and follow us on Twitter at Joburg Today. And if you're one of those that are on the move, do catch us on pockettv.mobi, and that's pocket with an I. The hashtag Decongest Santon campaign promoting green mobility seems to have attracted a whole lot of attention. Joburg Today went and found out a bit more about the campaign's progress since it started last year. Time is money. In few other places in South Africa, this rings so true than in the Santon CBD. The hashtag Decongest Santon campaign's efforts to promote cycling could help lessen time spent in traffic in the continent's richest square mile. Green mobility building and consulting experts founded the hashtag Decongest Not For Profit organization and the Santon campaign is its first initiative. Our focus is on creating experiences and campaigns that shift mindsets towards green mobility. Hashtag Decongest Santon is just that. We're focusing on getting the minds shifted towards green mobility in Santon. Believing in doing rather than talking, Decongest Santon created the opportunity for green mobility experiences using electric bicycles. So we started a series of pilot bicycle rides within Santon and the larger precinct there. And the uptake was fantastic, particularly from business within Santon. So we're talking to mid to senior level businessmen who were interested to see if this is possible. We were fully booked for months. Establishing an infrastructure of electric bicycle charging stations has however proved quite challenging. Of course, you need to have a footprint of property where you can put these stations up, and then you need the engineering sus to make these stations happen. We've had some great partners come to the table, and we're happy to say that we're in the process of developing a prototype station that will be going live during Ecomobility uh, Festival. This campaign has another dimension. Research about green mobility and cycling as an everyday mode of urban transport. We haven't really gotten to the nuts and bolts of the numbers yet, but from the qualitative, the experiential side of it, we've gained a lot of insight in the uh, factors that should be around for people to feel safe on the roads. And at this point in time, our research is indicating that we're still a, a, still a while off. But how much progress was made in changing behaviours? 
Now, whether we've been successful in getting the actual traffic numbers down, I'm not 100% sure. But I know for a fact that we have really started the conversation and we've gotten very key players within the Santon business community to engage our stakeholder meetings and start talking about this. Going into the future, hashtag decongest plans to rather cooperate with the private sector. It's maybe not a bad idea to during the Ecomobility World Festival go on to one of these decongest Santon tours. Marisa de Klerk, Joburg Today. Hi, this is Matata James and you're watching Joburg Today. That's it from today's show. For more on the city, do check out our playlist. From myself, Dumi Tlapo, I do leave you with Use Me by Jesse Clegg. Back in ETV Wait for me, I'll wait for you I can tell you what to do Oh, in the darkness I can feel you Play the thief, i play the fool Let the sky Come over you, oh, I will fall into the blue Use me, darling, use me, darling.